We messed up. Look at this. You slap it, Phil? No, I'm not gonna slap it. Slap it. I don't slap it. Whoa. Oh no. That's what happens when you let it sit outside and it rains for like a week straight. Here you go. Good effort. You do it. I don't even know where to start. Just like slash the bottom. Just so it can, no, just the bottom so it can drain out. Oh my god. Is that laminar? Oh, what? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah, baby. That's <laughs> that was disgusting. Sorry, Amy. <laughs> Good thing we're not using that anymore. Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that haven't been following along, this is the restoration of our 1992 C-Ray 380SS and today it's painting time. We're painting the entire top of the boat white and all the sides gunmetal gray. We have the whole surface prepped. We've done a lot of Bondo work to the boat, but finally we have a nice fall day to get working and get this guy done. We got a couple buddies over here who are gonna help us out do a little prep work on the painting, but it's time. For those of you who don't know the story, we pulled this boat out of the weeds down at the Lake of the Ozarks in May of this year, and the entire summer we have spent our time, blood, sweat, and tears, fixing this thing up, getting it ready to go, and restoring it back to its original condition, if not better. So, here we go. As always, like and subscribe to the channel, at Making Motor Moves, we have a Facebook, Instagram and a TikTok at Making Motor Moves. So here we go. It's time to paint. Okay. Oh, is the other one going to be screwed too? I don't know. Well, let's go find out. Today is the day we are going to paint the top of the boat. And the top is always, the top's never been in question. That's going to be white. Is that one waterlogged too? No, it's pretty light. Yeah, no, that's good. Oh, yeah. Good, good. But. To do that, we have to do a bunch of prep work, taping. We gotta pull the boat out from here, move it over to an area that's not covered by a bunch of trees everywhere. Um, and this will be the first time the boat's moved in multiple months since we've been working on it. So I think once we move it, that'll be its resting place until the boat gets sold. Um, but we've piled a bunch of our stuff underneath it for the past several months because we didn't think it was going to move and now it's going to move and we have waterlogged cushions and etc. Yep. Marinated cushions. Marinated, yeah. And you can, you can just picture the smells of that too. It's not great. Old, stale water. But again, as you guys saw previously, we've got the whole boat sanded down. We've got a little more Bondo work to do. But for the most part, the top of the boat is ready to go. Oh, and our cover is 100% done. Complete, finished, thank you, Joel. So, I'm helping <laughs> Phil. We're gonna get all the upholstery set on this trailer. And this is actually getting shipped off here in the next couple weeks to take to our upholstery guy and give it to him for, I think he said four months, three months. And ideally have all the upholstery done by February. Progress is progress. We've been super busy but I'm gonna help Phil sling some cushions quick and then we'll get on the road to go get some supplies at the paint store. Little game plan here. Doesn't look like much, but we've pulled out all the upholstery in this boat. If you wanna see us doing that whole process, go watch the previous video where they, we prep everything, sand the entire boat, and pull out the upholstery. The upholstery's sitting over there on the gooseneck flatbed. We're getting ready to strap that down and take that over to Chicago, to our buddy, who's going to do all of the upholstery for this interior cockpit area of the boat. But that's besides the point. Before that upholstery can get put back in, and before we can really cover up the boat and leave it for the winter. It's already winterized, all the engines are done down below there under the hatch. If I open them up, you'd see them. They look beautiful, they're pretty. Hoses are disconnected, antifreeze has been ran through them, yada yada. But we gotta get this fresh sanded surface with some paint on it before it can sit in the snow and in the elements for the winter. I know 
that probably kills some people because, you know, if we had the space, I would love for this boat to sit inside, but we don't have that. So anyway, the entire cockpit here is gonna be painted a white, as well as the outside exterior of the boat on top. Now below the trim line, everything's gonna be gunmetal gray. That will come later. For now, we're focusing on the top. We have most things taped off. The front hatches have been pulled out of the boat so we can paint through there. The paint we're using today for the top and sides is what's called Total Boat Top Coat. It is a, I believe, pearl white or emerald white. The top paint we're using, I will put in the description below as well as the side paint we're gonna use. This is good stuff. It was about $130 a can. Not bad. Uh, we're gonna use a few cans to get this whole boat done. But we wanted to use good quality marine paint to get this boat looking good, freshened up, and back to its glory days. I mean, as you can see now, everything's pretty old, eggshell colored. Um, this is actually all sanded down. It has completely lost its previous gel coat and shine. So we're gonna add that back to the boat. Really get it looking like new again. We got a lot of work to do on this thing today. It's been a long time coming to get this boat where it's at now. Uh, and I'm getting really excited because as soon as we put paint on it, it's gonna look worlds different than it did when we were using it all summer. By the way, if you wanna see what this boat looked like before we've done anything to it, pulling it out of the weeds of the Lake of the Ozarks and using it this summer, go check out some of our previous videos. They have been out there for like the last six months or so. So they've got a couple thousand views in some of the videos, pretty awesome. But yeah, go check them out. And as always, if you haven't done so already, like, subscribe to the channel. Keep following us and checking us out. There's gonna be more boat content like that. All right, step one in the process is to brush paint around all of the chrome handrails, the gas caps, steps, the emblems, uh, electrical plugs, everything like that. Once we get painted around all the little things in hardware that we taped off, then we can go ahead and roll the top of the boat. No, we're not gonna spray it. We're gonna roll it with high density foam, smooth six inch rollers, good for smooth flat surfaces uh and also will give us a good spread hopefully no bristles left over or weird texture on the top when we're done i referenced the paint before what is this it's it's top coat what is it total, wet edge total, top coat total boat wet polyurethane edge, top coat. total boat wet edge top paint do the consumers need to sniff i don't think we can smell it oh uh, once smell of is a thing we'll be ready just give it to them we just bought white mm. Um, oh, now we're dripping it all yeah, over. Yeah, we're gonna drip it all over. Oh, yeah. nice. It's okay, we'll Good spread point. it out. Let's get painting. 1992 Sea Ray 380 SS, full restoration. Here we go. Jordan, fix your hair, baby girl. You're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> First time you did it, your hair was just like. <sighs> all right. We're taking a break quick. I think we need to thin down the paint a little bit. It is really thick, and every little bit that we paint on just stays in its shape. It doesn't lay down or rest at all whatsoever. So we're gonna get some paint thinner and the paint and go back to it and see how that looks here. This might be a better idea over here. Yeah, a little texture. You don't want texture. You want it to lay down nicely. Oh, look, it's me. Welcome, Mr. Bot. How's it going? Good, buddy. Roll up in style. You got a tray you want to mix this in? So no, can? whole can. So let's get the lid back on it. We'll mix a little bit in the can, then shake it all up, Phil. <laughs> what do you think? You want to say when? Yeah. We are professionals here. No gloves. No. Just pours a random 
bit of paint thinner in the jug and what do you mean random it's quality paint thinner there's a term for it we work there shakes it up you're really going all in with that polyurethane paint on the hands aren't you Ooh, is that better i don't know we have to get a Ooh, that's thin mm. yeah you can tell already mm -hmm. you won't know until you go put it on the roller yeah well, let me grab my tray that too for me yeah Lord Jesus. Is that better? You know, more. Just put know. a splash of paint thinner in there. Yeah, that's better because it's laying down now. It is? Yeah. Phil now assumes I'm just going to buy him out, which is might be accurate. I may just buy him out. Can I, can I, can I hold you when you say that so you get a little more out of it? You know? Yeah, so when are you going to hug me? Thank you. Well, you know what's the nice part about this boat when you buy it off of me? What? You know everything's for good. I know. I'm like that fever you got yourself into. Fever was a bad idea. No, it wasn't. Year. It was all good ideas. Just bad components. Yeah. Doing is gonna be Cheap brushes. Tapes. But for you all, these are the synthetic so bristles. So they don't come off as easy. There's a they spread paint a lot doing more that? uniform. And uh, this is what we're using to go around all the fine harbor. Don't don't mind that. That's that's an interesting tape job. But yeah, around this stuff like here, get all around there in the in between around the chrome, um, and then along the edge of the um, rub rail here as well. Sea ray decals. Don't know what we're gonna do there yet. And all the button snaps, I think our idea was to put petroleum jelly in all of them. That's what we do for paint procedures at the factory, is things that we don't want painted. Um, like grease fittings and stuff like that, we will actually grease them before they get painted. That way they can get painted over and then the grease just wipes right off and that paint is no longer on the fitting. So kind of smart. I think we're gonna do that here for some of these smaller parts that are harder to get around. Okay, bit of a rocky start. Our paint mixture was a little thick, so we've added some paint thinner to it. Now we're starting to see it lay down a little bit better. See back here, you can kind of see it's so tacky. It just stays and leaves its texture on the boat. And that doesn't look great. So we might have to come back and sand this down again. But now, this is something I did just a few seconds ago. This back here, we thinned it out a little bit. It's laying down better. This part here, you can see the tackiness a little bit right there of the paint being too thick and I just touched it with my gloves, awesome. But anyway, it's starting to lay down a little bit better. I think that's gonna look okay for the top side of the boat. But again, probably gonna have to come back on this, sand this down and hit it again with the roller. But for now, I think we'll thin the paint out just a touch more and then get to going. And I think it'll, it'll turn out better. Oh, Phil, sanding's looking good, man. Well, somebody's got to. Hi, Jordan. What's up, man? <laughs> now you're in. No, I think I should get paid. Listen, I already filled the big set. Well, day one of painting is done. So far, so good. The paint is way wider than the old oxidized color, but we're not nearly done yet. And a lot of spots to touch up and sand, as well as put on the gray paint. We're about to lose the sunlight. So, so far so good. Learning how to use this total boat, wet edge top paint has been the process. A lot of paint thinner and learning, but she looks decent. Once we get some sandpaper on her and a couple more coats will be good, but wouldn't have gotten nearly as much done as we planned to if it weren't for the help of Mr. Peterson over here. No thanks the... to Phil <laughs> tagging out a little early. <laughs> Phil, uh, we lost Phil. He dropped out um, for various reasons. What's the what's the typical saying they have? Well, Phil dropped out for health issues, uh, but he's okay. Don't worry, he's fine. Just had to purge the tank a little bit and and move on. But yeah, Jordan was a huge help today. Thank you, Jordan. He's rocking the Make Motor Moves mug. He's got a couple battle scars from all the paint today. But I digress. We move on. She's getting there. Don't judge us for our. Painting skills, we're no professionals by any means, but anything is better than what it is right now. And I really think the lines of this boat are gonna pop out once we get some more paint and uh, 
nicer edges on it, especially if we touch up the bottom paint down there with a new edge. We'll tape all that off. And I think for the bottom portion, we're going to spray it. So instead of rolling it on and brushing it on, we're going to spray that. So that ought to look pretty good. Day one of painting in the books and we move on. What? It's too bright. What You're can I do? Bright. They can't see you. Yeah, they can. Yes, yeah. they can. Hey, everybody, I'm George. This is Phil, and that's Jordan. Today, we're painting this boat. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it at all. Yeah. <laughs> I need one more. We'll zoom into that, George. I need one more. One more what? Uh, I didn't want consent to be on this video. <laughs> yeah, we'll get channels. Okay. Take two. Take two. Ah. I think we want the other side because of the sun. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> 